Hello, welcome to the tutorial on writing integration test cases for WSO2 products. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate you how to write an automated integration test for WSO2 API Manager using WSO2 Test Automation Framework. WSO2 Test Automation Framework uses TestNG as its underlying testing framework. And the Surefire plugin is used during the test phase of the build lifecycle to execute the integration tests of a product. Core objectives in this tutorial are to write your test class, configure automation related configurations, and finally run your test class. First, you need to create a module for test cases. Best practice is to use a hierarchical tree module as you can see here. When you check out WSO2 product source code from git repository under modules directory, you can find a module called integration. You can create sub-modules under integration module as per your test cases. As you can see, in the integration modules POM XML file, the relevant sub-modules are included. For this tutorial, I have included tests common and tests integration sub-modules. When you write test cases that you need to run, first create a sub-module under integration module as you can see here. This module should include test case sources and resource files. The test common module is used to write common utilities for the test cases which are not provided by default with the automation framework. There is a base test class of which we extend and create our own test classes. You can override the functionality of this base test class in order to achieve your testing requirements. In API Manager, this class is named as AM Integration Base Test, as you can see here in the Integration Test Utils submodules based directory when you write test classes for api manager you can extend from this am integration based test based class and continue now let's look at the scenario of our test case as you can see in this architecture diagram api publisher and api store are main high level components in api manager API Manager is used by API providers to publish APIs, share documentation, provision API keys, and gather feedback on API features, quality, and usage. In our scenario, we add an API to the publisher and get its information via HTTP response. This makes sure that the service components are intact and respond as per the specification even after making any level of modifications to the product code backend. Now let's look at our demo test case. As you can see here in APIM context is created by using AP automation context object in the automation context class. Automation context represents the test environment on which our test cases are being run. In resources directory of your test module, you can find this automation XML file. This is where we store all configurations related to tests. You can add users, product instances related to the test module to its automation XML file and retrieve them inside their tests without including all possible configuration details inside tests themselves. Also, we support adding pluggable classes through automation XML file. As you can see in this test case, we have used testng annotations such as at before class, at test, and at after class. Well, in at before class, the announced method will be run before the first test method in the current class is invoked. All the initialization tasks are done here including adding the API to the publisher. In after class, 
The annotated method will be run after all the test methods in the current class have been run. Deleting the API is also done inside this destroy method. It is essential to do this here since if you include it under add test annotation method and if an assert check fails, the added API will remain in the publisher. Also note that always run is set to true in both init and destroy methods under add before class and add after class annotations respectively. This makes sure that both the methods are always run even if an assert check fails. As an example, if a test fails, it is essential to run the at after class annotated method to release its resources and perform cleanup operations. As you can see here in test search API sample at test annotated method contains all the validation logic for the HTTP response bean values received. Also note that the assert equals method is a static import. since we are using this assert request method repeatedly throughout the test case. Now include your test case class name to be run in the test ng XML file inside your sub module like this. Well, as you can see here, test ng XML file is inside resources directory of your tests integration sub module. If you want, you can add packages also to test ngxml file. Now it's time to run your integration test case. Go to integration directory from your terminal, issue a mvn clean install command like this. Your test case run has successfully completed. Now let's view the surefire report of the test run. It's in test integration sub module's target directory list under surefire reports. You can view this report in web browser like this. That's how you write your own test class for a selected WSO2 product. In this tutorial, we discussed how to write an automated integration test for WSO2 API Manager using WSO2 Test Automation Framework. 